I'll, I'll just give you one example where uh, artificial intelligence is going to really change and help human uh, is in healthcare. So, for example, um, there's data now that suggests that because artificial intelligence can look at things and see changes and shifts much sooner than human eyes can, using MRIs, they can detect Alzheimer's onset years earlier than uh, a doctor or a human could detect the Alzheimer's in the brain by changes in the brain. And we all know that Alzheimer's, for example, the earlier you detect it and get on the medications, slow it down. So, so Alzheimer's, it may take a long time for it to be cured, but, but AI may help us slow it down to a point where it, it doesn't affect our lives nearly as much as it does today. Stephen Hawking has warned about millions of job losses from artificial intelligence or humanity being sidelined. You mentioned healthcare. One idea was that AI could be used in triage. These are not low-skilled jobs. When we talk about the first interface with an emergency worker or a healthcare professional, are you concerned about job losses that AI could bring? You know, every time there's been a big shift in technology, go back to you know cars or airplanes, people thought that the industries were going to die, people were going to be out of work. And what happened is it shifted and it actually augmented and, and allowed even more jobs, more opportunity, more... Uh, uh, commerce and so AI is going to do the same thing it's going to allow those trained people to actually focus on more treatment and less triage for example so it doesn't mean there's less uh, skilled workers it means that they're able to focus and we're able to treat more people and so think about it that way as we're able to serve more of mankind with the, with the skills that we do have. If artificial intelligence is going to be so game-changing where's the regulation? In the past, we've seen regulators, legislators very slow to move on new technology. Are you concerned that this is the same situation, that regulators, legislators are so far behind how quickly AI is being developed? No, because AI is, is only going to go into applications that we allow it to go into. And so, and it's really, it's in its infancy. So it would be too early to do any kind of regulation today. Like, what, what would you regulate around artificial intelligence today? It's, it's really, we need to foster the innovation and allow it to grow. We're, we're at the beginning stages of artificial intelligence, and so we want to let it really blossom and grow into what it's most capable of. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.